All right, so I'm going to be showing how to open up and disassemble this HP. Give me a second. The model number is like really hard to read on here. Um, it's right here, 15-BS033CL. All right, so first thing we're going to do is remove the battery. So normally both these will be out. All right, what you do is you push this one in. This is a lock and then you push this and you can see it slides the battery out. Okay, battery model number, if you need it, is super tiny right here, JC03. Okay, so JC03, that's the battery model number. We'll set that aside. All right, next thing we're going to do, I believe there are some screws hidden under here. So let's go ahead and remove these rubber feet. So we'll remove this one. Okay, it looks like the adhesive is sticking to the plastic piece not the rubber so we're gonna see if we can somehow get that out oh it looks like somebody lost the screw okay so you can see one screw is missing here let's go ahead and peel this side up and see if it's the same I don't know somebody must have opened this already okay and there's no screw here either so I don't know what's going on with that but uh, we're gonna set those rubber pieces aside let's go ahead and peel this up as well Okay, let's see. I'm assuming there's also hidden screws here. Okay, it looks like they lost that one as well. And I'm guessing they lost this one as well. So anyways, to remove the screws, you would use a PH1 or JS1 screwdriver. But because they lost the screws, then we don't need to worry about that. We're just gonna set those things aside. All right, let's go ahead and remove the other screws. You wanna keep all the screws in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths. The way I do that, put them flat side down like that on my desk in the power and I remove them. So this one is for the optical drive. Once you remove that screw, I use my fingernail to go up and down as I pull on this and you can see we got the optical drive out. You can actually also upgrade this to a secondary hard drive slot to put a hard drive or SSD in there. But because, um, the customer is just changing out a dead hard drive in here. Um, I'm gonna be putting a new hard drive and installing Windows to it, okay? We're gonna actually put a 480 gig SSD in there. All right, now we got all those screws up there out. Let's see, are we missing any more? No? Okay, we're gonna get the two over here out, this one and this one. And then there's one more down here, okay? So, Again, hopefully you guys remembered, uh, hopefully you guys were able to remove these screws underneath the rubber feet. Okay, there we go. And then we have the one more right here. And basically we're just gonna be replacing the hard drive, but I'll show like the other internal components. Okay, once we got all the screws out, what we're gonna do, we're gonna carefully open up the laptop here. Okay, you only need to open it a little. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my fingernail in between the gap here and the bottom cover, okay? And when I do that, I'm gonna push with my thumbs on the back and pull up with my fingernails, just like this. You can see it pops out very easily. Then we're just gonna go around. I'm gonna slowly, carefully close this. I'm gonna go around here and pop these, just like that, okay? I'm gonna go around to this side, and same thing. Pop around this, okay? Same thing with this, pull this up. Okay, this plastic thing can be a little tricky. You have to kind of pull the plastic out that way as you kind of pull it up to get it past these little clips here. Okay, there we go. All right, we got most of it out. Then we're gonna kind of wiggle this. It kind of will usually get stuck over here. So you might have to be a little uh, careful with this. We're just gonna grab here and kind of wiggle this. All right, we got part of it up. Let's go ahead and go to this side and kind of do the same thing let's see here using my thumb and pushing this i don't know why this side is stuck pretty strong um, what we're going to do we're going to push the cover over this way to undo these clips okay all right and then well while we're doing that whoa this thing just cracked while we're pushing over there you want to lift it up just like that okay and there we go we got this bottom cover off just like that okay so now that we got that off, we are gonna also clean this up because it is pretty dusty. But here you can see the hard drive. There's one screw holding this in place. Um, let me actually get a screenshot here. So we'll get this lined up and this can be the screenshot. Okay. 
All right, let's zoom in a bit here so you guys can see a little bit better. We're gonna remove this hard drive and we're gonna replace it with an SSD. There's one screw holding this little metal bracket into place, then we can lift it up slightly. Once you lift it up enough, you can grab both sides, wiggle it, and pull it back just like this. We're gonna transfer this metal bracket over. There's just two screws holding it into place. Okay, very simple. All right, once we get those two brackets off, we're gonna get the SSD and we're gonna put this bracket onto the SSD now. Okay, just get the screws in, this one, and the second one, get that in as well. Tighten that down and tighten this down. Okay. Once we get those in, we're just gonna get the hard drive back into the connector wiggle it back into place, let it drop down, and we'll get this screw back down. All right, we're just gonna be doing a quick look inside here. You can see there's this one cable here with a flip latch for the USB port, SD card slot, and these lights. All right, at least that's what I think those are, yep. All right, all the other ports are attached to the motherboard, it seems. All right, you have the um, optical drive connector here that's removable. You got the keyboard connector here with also the flip latch. There's this connector here for some models where the keyboard has a backlight, but this one doesn't have that. All right, you got these two um, connectors here for, um, this one is for, oh, that goes to this connector. And then this short one is for the hard drive or SSD. Um, it looks like there's a slot here for an M.2 SSD. I don't know if it supports PCIe NVMe or just M.2 SATA. Um, I would assume it, has, it supports a PCIe NVMe, but I don't know for sure. Um, and the reason why I'm thinking that is because there's a SATA connector here. So why would they waste another one just for a SATA connector here? All right, you got the two trackpad connectors. The trackpad connects to the buttons here, and then the buttons connect to the motherboard there. Two sticks of RAM, just like every other model. You pop these two tabs to the side, it will come up. All right, and then you can just pull this out. And this is PC4 2400T, so you should be able to use any, excuse me, any PC4 2400T. It goes back in at an angle. I like to wiggle it while I'm pulling it into the slot, then push it down, right? Battery connector, or sorry, speaker connector here. You can grab the wings here, wiggle it, and pull it out. You got the standard CR2032 CMOS BIOS real-time clock battery there and CPU is soldered to the motherboard, LCD, LVDS connectors here. If you mess with this, make sure to open up the computer and press and hold the power button for 15 seconds before, oh man, this cat, you're not allowed up there. Okay, so, and then make sure to press and hold the power button 15 seconds before um, messing with this connector. And this looks like one where you kind of pull it back. I'm not gonna mess with that. DC jack or charge port connector is here, goes, travels underneath and ends up underneath the hinge up here okay so the cable just runs along up there and goes all the way over there all right what else we got um, wireless card here with the two wireless antennas and then the one fan here okay all right anyways I'm gonna clean the fan out and I'll be back and then we're just gonna put this thing back together all right so I'll see you guys in a bit all right so I'm back clean that out all right cleaned out the fan now let's go ahead and reassemble this thing all right pretty straightforward oops I left the thing charging sorry it was probably making staticky sounds the entire time all right anyways let's go ahead now and reassemble this thing so pretty straightforward just line everything back up click everything back down into place okay and we're basically just gonna reinstall windows onto it so nothing too fancy or crazy okay make sure to click everything into place okay click all of that click all of this all right work our way around okay everything should be good now let's go ahead and just get all these screws back in and we should be good to go all right hopefully this video helped you guys out if it did make sure to like subscribe share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well 
If it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Other than that, there's not really much else to it. Again, we're just going to get everything back into place. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Alright, you're welcome to stay as I get all of this back in, if I didn't already say that. Okay. Just get everything lined up. Looks good. Last few screws again. Um, there are supposed to be screws underneath these little rubber covers, so make sure that you get those in. Last screw, and then we'll just get the battery in and we'll do a clean install of windows onto it. All right, get the battery back in, line it up, push it into place, lock that down. All right, if you're wondering how you boot to the USB, basically um, you power it up. So I'm going to put in my Windows USB installer. Okay, power it up, press escape on boot. Okay, and then here you'll see it gives you the options for system information, diagnostics, boot device options, BIOS, and system recovery. We're going to go to F9 for the boot options. You'll see my USB drive now, so I'm going to boot from my SanDisk Cruiser Fit in UEFI. We're going to, of course, install Windows 10, and that's pretty much it. Just go through the install as usual. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Let's drop this spike.